World War II had many terrible losses, including over 200,000 famous pieces of art that are still missing from that war. We are missing great paintings from Raphael, Rembrandt, Bellini, and Van Gogh. Like these great works of art, enterprise data modeling, and really data modeling in general, are the forgotten arts of data management. But we can't blame the access powers for this. In the past, companies used to care about data modeling. But unfortunately, we lost our focus. We lost our focus for a variety of reasons, including agile development, which really limited our design time and sped up the development cycles. Well, enterprise data modeling is as valuable and as necessary as ever, because when we do it right, our business requirements are discovered and documented, and the models match the business requirements, which is critical. And this saves us tons of development dollars by our teams. And the components of an enterprise data model are critical to know. They are, number one, a common vocabulary. This is the common terms we're going to use for all the different types of models in our enterprise data model. Number two, a subject area model, which has five to 12 entities in it. Number three, a conceptual model, which has 40 to 60 entities. Number three, a logical data model. And then of course, last but not least, the physical data model will implement itself. In the final analysis, companies that embrace enterprise data modeling will have achieved a key fundamental discipline for world-class data management. This concludes our data management moment. I wish you success with your data management program.